everyone. I hope you're all okay and had a lovely day. So I'm all ready for bed. I've got my pyjamas on and I've brushed my teeth and it's time for a story. The story that I'm going to read you today is A Quiet Night In by Jill Murphy and it's a story all about a family of elephants. It's one of my favourites. you all in bed early tonight, said Mrs. Large. It's Daddy's birthday and we're going to have a quiet night in. Can we be there too? asked Laura. No, said Mrs. Large. It won't be quiet with you lot all charging about like a herd of elephants. But we are a herd of elephants, said Lester. Smarty pants, said Mrs. Large. Come on now, coats on, it's time for school. That evening, Mrs. Large had the children bathed and in their pyjamas before they had even had their tea. They were all very cross. It's only half past four, said Lester. It's not even dark yet. It soon will be, said Mrs. Large grimly. After tea, the children set about making place cards and decorations for the dinner table. Then they all tidied up. Then Mrs. Large tidied up again. Mr. Large arrived home looking very tired. We're all going to bed, said Lester. So you can be quiet, said Laura. Without us, said Luke. Shh! Happy birthday, said Mrs. Large. Come and see the table. Mr. Large sank heavily into the sofa. It's lovely, dear, he said. But do you think we could have our dinner on trays in front of the TV? I'm feeling a bit tired. Of course, said Mrs. Large. It's your birthday. You can have whatever you want. We'll help, said Luke. The children ran to the kitchen and brought two trays. I'll set them, said Mrs. Large. We don't want everything ended up on the floor. Can we have a story before we go to bed? Asked Luke. Please, said Lester. Go on, Dad, said Laura. Just one story said the baby. Oh, all right, said Mr. Large. Just one then. Lester chose a book and they all cuddled up on the sofa. Mr. Large opened the book and began to read. One day, Binky Bus drove out of the big garage. Hello, he called to his friend, Mickey Milk Float. I don't like that one, said Laura. It's a boy's story. Look, said Mr. Large, if you're going to argue about it, you can all go straight to bed without any story. So they sat and listened while Mr. Large read to them. After a while, he stopped. Go on, Daddy, said Luke. What happened after he bumped into Danny Dustcart? Did they have a fight, said Lester. Look said Laura. Daddy's asleep. Shh, said the baby. Mrs. Large laughed. Poor Daddy, she said. Never mind, we'll let him snooze a bit longer while I take you all up to bed. Will you just finish the story, Mum? asked Lester. We don't know what happens in the end, said Luke. Please said Laura. Story, said the baby. Move up then, said Mrs. Large. She picked up the book and began to read. Watch where you're going, silly dust cart, said Binky. Just then, Pip the police car came driving by. After a while, Mrs. Large stopped reading. 
What's that strange noise? asked Lester. It's Mummy snoring, said Luke. Daddy's snoring too. They must be very tired, said Laura kindly. Shh, said the baby. The children crept from the sofa and fetched a blanket. They covered Mr and Mrs Large and tucked them in. We'd better put ourselves to bed, said Lester. Come on. Shall we take the food up with us? asked Luke. It is on trays. It's a pity to waste it, said Laura. I'm sure they wouldn't mind anyway. She wanted a quiet night in. Shh, said the baby. Do you think they were quiet when they were going upstairs? It doesn't look like it. They're dropping all the knives and forks and all of the food. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the story and are now ready for bed. Good night.